Hello and welcome to the MVS Show, episode number 400. I can't believe that we've been doing this for 400 episodes now. I would like to thank you, personally, who are watching this. Uh, be that if you're an old school viewer or a new subscriber and so on, thank you so much for watching us and just being in it and... <laughs> And me giving you or me having the privilege of entertaining you all for this long. And you know, honestly, I got no idea. You know, I, I got no idea. Like, I just did this for fun, and it is still fun. And it's been what? Uh, we started in 2011, I think. I think so, 11. But we've been doing this for a while now, and oh my god. I can't believe it. Like, you know, honestly, doing this podcast for this long, it's such an achievement to itself. And I could have done it without you guys at home who comment, watch, and just be entertained by us. And for that, I thank you all. But with that, let's hop into the news. We have some really good ones. So first up in the news, cooking YouTube channel creates sapphire cupcakes. So the channel Feast or Fiction or Feast of Fiction just recently uploaded a video of how to create the sapphire cupcakes, and this is uh, okay. I, I was surprised at first, but. Um, it's a pleasant surprise because one of the hosts is Jimmy Wong. He is one of my favorite, uh, how would you call this, podcaster, YouTube celebrity who hosts the show Command Zone. The Command Zone, yes. And, well, I do know that he did this. Um, he mentioned that he did something for... Magic the Gathering for Throne of Eldraine about cookie bread gingers and so on. But for this, this is surprisingly, <laughs> sorry, this is surprise. This is surprise me. But go watch the video. It's really awesome. They show you how to uh, make the whole thing. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll just summarize it for you guys. Uh, make your own cupcakes however you want. Um, cupcakes is just cupcakes, no matter how it is. Um, you can do the blue frosting and for the candies um they made just normal rock candies and that it's very fun i i got no idea how to cook so uh go watch them i think the recipe list is down below and it is a lot of fun but anywho uh that is uh, over there uh, if you like cooking it's great i'm not 100 percent sure if this cupcake is in the My Little Pony recipe book. Huh. If it's not, this is great. If it is, you can compare. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. Screen Rent does a t <laughs> does a 10 things you never knew about the ponies. So Screen Rent uh, is one of those websites who... Do do things like oh did you know this and that they have their own YouTube channel and I was at first I thought this was their YouTube channel but no 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 it was on their website and you know honestly this is pretty interesting because they gave us ten things that quote unquote we didn't know and for example is cheese um, long story short they say that. She Sandwich is a minor character who formerly appeared in two episodes. Um, but, but did you know that she um, was a shy pony until he went to Ponyville and attended a party by Pinkie Pie and so on? So it's one of those things where if you didn't really pay attention, uh, this might surprise you. So, Starlight Glimmer. Oh, okay, um, boy. Uh, I haven't read through all of this. So. Uh, we're experiencing this at the same time. So, okay. Sarah Grimmer was first introduced as an antagonist in the season 5 premiere. She ran a village in where she... <coughs> uh, 
village in which every pony gave up their unique cutie marks for a great equal sign on their flanks. Twilight Sparkle and the rest of the main six were able to stop her. She later appeared in the season 5 finale as an antagonist where she tried to go back in time to prevent the main six from earning their cutie marks. She was ultimately unsuccessful and Twilight was able to show her the error of her ways. From then on, she became a secondary protagonist. What people may not know about Starlight is that she is an incredibly powerful magic user. She develops the spell that switches the villagers' um, residence cutie marks and was able to successfully use a time-traveling spell in order to attempt to prevent Rainbow Dash running. Rainbow blah, 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 blah. So, that's pretty interesting. If you have not fully watch the show you got no idea what's what's what um for us this is kind of a gentle reminder um i'm just trying to see if there's any okay mrs cake mrs cake so uh blah, 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 mrs cake um something audience may not know about mrs cake is that before she was married to mr cake her name was chevron swirl a fact that was revealed in the season 7 entitled per The Perfect Pair. Not much is known about the naming convention of, of ponies after marriage, and Mrs. Cake is the only one, uh, only known case of notable pony changing their name of the. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where if you watch the show carefully and listen to it, you can. Yeah, yeah. So. And obviously this is a fun reminder or a revelation if you have not known the show for a while. So it's all cool. It's all cool. And moving on to the next one. Yes. Uh, Magic the Gathering's Ponies, the Galloping Razors. Ooh, 786,000? 186 for charity. Yay. So I've, I've ever part of this. And in honesty, that is quite a lot of cash. Um, every... Um, how do I put this? Every proceeds from buying the, whatchamacallit, this um, magic set or the promotional cards is about $50. Uh, 30 out of those 50s goes to charity. So the card itself is only twenty dollars, but thirty of those goes to charity. So you, if you do the math, you can cons- you you can count it as what thirty times how much you'll get that amount. But at the same time, two, I'm not hundred percent sure if people can just donate some of their earnings to, or just donate money to the event or whatever it is. Um. Da, da, da. I'm just trying to double check everything here. And yeah, I got no idea. But this is kind of awesome. This is kind of awesome because in a in a way Pony did good again with charity and this is helping the uh, helping extra life for the Children's Miracle Network. I forgot. But I'm part of I have mine here. Uh, another friend of mine did so too. So this is all good. This is all good. The cards itself are pretty cool, but I got no idea how to build around them. So it's one of those cases where it's going to be a while before I start anything with them. And last one. This is... Ah, this is a sad one. Dual Cartoonist YouTube channel remove. So Dual Cartoonists are the animation pair of Lionheart Cartoon and Spirit. Uh, I'm a friend of them, but ever since Skype is dead, I haven't been in contact with them. I uh, really want to. I p- probably should contact them on the DeviantArts. But I, I did leave them a message and say, um, if you have the time, come and talk. But what what is unknown or what is known for now is that their channel... Removed. I think this is them preemptively pulling themselves out because they don't want to face Copa. 
like I mentioned before, Copa is very, very confusing. Like, we, we got no... <laughs> I, I, I'm like a broken record right now, but Copa itself is confusing. If you create a, sh- a show, like, let's just say that if you create a game show, like you play video games, uh, let's just say you play the Call of Duties, Obviously, that is not meant for kids, so your channel is quote unquote safe. Uh, kids can watch it if they want to, but it's not recommended. But if you play something like Minecraft, okay, Minecraft is mostly for kids. Kids will love to watch the Minecrafts. So, is that made for kids? If you're foul mouth like uh, one of any uh, one of the gaming YouTubers, probably not. But since you're playing Minecraft quote unquote making it for kids if you don't make it for kids they'll flag you so oh you're gaining the system by saying that you're making for kids and your content is uh, kid friendly and so on so it's a very confusing thing there even the MBS show's content here is very confusing caveat is that we are mostly a news show and the content is mostly news. Kids probably will sleep through all of this. But for the show itself, we tend to run on the principle of PG-13, where the show is not really meant for kids, but it's safe to watch because Sweetie Bot will be there to drop the not a word hammer on anybody who says something naughty and other than that um the <laughs> the show is quote unquote stable for now but with dual cartoonists they're not taking the risk they're not taking the risk and like i mentioned this is just a running thing uh, they're not they're not taking the risk because getting sued by the government is not fun. And also, um, if your video is deemed to be bad, they'll de- they'll disable commenting on your videos and stuff. And th- this is one of those cases where I think they're preemptively keeping themselves safe by just getting off the platform i'm not 100 sure about their patreon uh, they do have they do have a patreon i'm not 100 sure if they're still running it or not um other than that i got no idea and i do wish them the best i do wish them the best i'll see if i can get a word in with them and if i do i'll just let you guys know in an update about what's going on and so on but with that that is the news and well this week has been going on smoothly um nothing new happened nothing let's just say that things have been going fine uh haven't watched mm, okay I, I i did watch a movie and that is the mystery of the dragon crest the jackie chan and arnold schwarzenegger movie but not really. They just put in the cash because it's based on a few other actors, not them. They're in it, but they're not part of it. Like they're not the highlight of the show. So, anywho, the story goes: <coughs> no, a secluded part of China has its dragon, and the dragon produced great, awesome teas with uh, healing properties in them, and the dragon gave a crest to one of the three guardians. Uh, The guardians are the wizard, the witch, and the princess, something like that. And the the dragon gave the crest to the princess. And I I don't know, I don't remember. It's very blurry for me. But anywho, one got really greedy and wanted more money, one go, and... She captured the wizard and the princess and sent them far apart, far, far apart, like just far, far away. Then, hijinks ensue. It's a 
it's a it's a Chinese movie uh, in collaboration with Russia, but it is a Chinese movie. But the percentage of Chinese spoken in the show is very little. I would say that the Chinese in the movie would be about ten percent, which is surprisingly, right? Which is surprising. Most of the movie will be spoken in English, and that's awesome. I hope you guys in the West get to watch this movie because it is a lot of fun. Um, other than that, um, should I tell you guys now what is the date on the calendar? Uh, okay, so um, next week will be. If I'm not mistaken, if I check my calendar right, give me a second, folks. I need to be quote unquote accurate on this one. No, uh, is it this one? Yes. So next week or the coming Saturday will be Chinese New Year's, and uh, it falls on the Saturday and Sunday and probably Monday. So, I'm debating that if I should do an episode or not. Uh, at the same time, too, on the third, I'll be heading off on a quote unquote vacation. Um, I'll be away for quote unquote four days, three nights. So, I'm not hundred percent sure if this is going to be the quote unquote last episode for the for a while. Uh, I'll get back on schedule on the, well, I'll do, <laughs> let's just say recording starts back after my vacation. Uh, I'm just wondering if I should take a, you know what, I, I've done 400 episodes of this, I, I should take a break, right? Yeah, I'm going to take a break, I'm going to take a break. Like, people told me, oh, you should take a break, you should take a break. And you know what? After 400 episodes, I am going to take a week break. Probably. I'm sorry about that, folks, but I deserve it. <laughs> but anywho, uh, for next week's podcast, we'll have a week's break on almost everything. Uh, except for the Patreons. I think the Patreon will go out as scheduled because doing the Patreon content is not that hard. Because, well, um, Patreon get raw edits, and raw edits are much too much easier to edit. <laughs> so, anywho, that's, well, that's this week's and next week's plan. And, well, with that, I, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, besides, non you know what, I haven't been playing games much. And it's not for lack of trying. I really want to finish... RE2 remake on PC and I really want to play a bit of Overwatch but work schedule has been really really tight and things have been updated a bit so I have not had much free time on my hand and on top of that I've been playing Magic the Good Ring uh, a new set came out um, give me a second and Oh boys, it's this one. Uh, oh, that doesn't mean nothing. So it's called Teros. And what is it called? Yeah, <laughs> Teros Beyond Death is the newest set for the year? Start of year for the next block. Then there's another one coming after three months probably. So yeah, that's been keeping me busy. I bought a box, yay. So uh, I'm go going to sell those cards soon enough yeah, make some cash <laughs> and, and other than that um, mostly Magic the Good Ring has been keeping me busy once in a while it's, it's one of those hobbies where I just love collecting the cards and I just love looking at the interaction with other cards that it can do and stuff and I, I'm guessing if you guys play card games you get what I mean because there's a lot of that in Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Pokemans not so much in the Card 5 Vanguards Card 5 Vanguards are Pretty static effects. But anywho, that's another story for another day. 
Anyway, let's wrap this up. <coughs> if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Uh, and also please subscribe and sorry. <laughs> and my personal Twitter account, <laughs> and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um I also do have the Instagram and that's what? Uh Instagram dot com slash Norman Sanzo? Is it? I, I forgot Instagram yes, Instagram dot com slash Norman Sanzo. That is where you can find me. I post interesting stories on there. Not really. But there's a place you can follow me. So yay. So anyhow, um you also please subscribe Rails on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also search your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PlayLive.com. Links are in the show notes. You can also subscribe in Rails on iTunes and search your radio. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Uh, over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Torterra reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than that and those are movies yes we recently did a discussion about the movies that we watched of 2019 and now it's time f- to collect the 2020s and see where that goes Woo-hoo. if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash them yes show with every support you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, my stuff like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys, well, two weeks from now with another fun episode on this show. See ya. <laughs>